Come on. Always close the gate when you go through it. Rocky, you shouldn't be in here. This is try number four, just with these six. Be free, big man, be free. Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. It's Brad with Batchelder Family Farms. We're one day before working our cows, came out to check them, feed them uh, here in the evening. I've got rubble right here in my lap and almost the whole cow herd was right up here by the corral. So went ahead and opened the gate, decided instead of starting the video tomorrow, we're starting it right now. So uh, we're gonna get our the rest of our cattle up and uh, we may have to finish some in the morning and then we're gonna start working them. So stick around, let's see if we can get everything done today and hopefully we have a great day working our cows on the farm. Come on. Good thing brought the tractor down to feed this bale of hay because I had left too much of a gap in this gate down here. I never checked it. And so we've moved it, but there's still this gap right here. Luckily on this side, I had let, left enough overlap thinking I needed to go back and check this gate, but never did. So now we're going to fix the overlap here and we should be able to lock them up for the night. Good morning, back here the next morning. Everybody uh, in the crop is doing well. The hay bale was right over here and they've almost knocked out that entire hay bale. Still got a couple more, a bull, a couple cows, a calf to get in. So gonna move these guys over. Hey, Poppy, uh, here so I can open up this side of the corral and uh, get everything set up to start working them today. And of course, we get everything set up, getting ready to head out. We haven't had rain in 30 days. Wasn't supposed to come until this evening, and now we have rain, which is fine. I'll take it. It's just going to, uh, we're going to have to work around it. Rain's cleared, got the trailer backed up. Dad's here. We're gonna get Bolt loaded up. He's gonna go down to my dad's. He's kind of been separated from the herd. I don't know if Rubble's run him off or we don't have any cows in heat, but he's kind of been off on his own. So we're gonna take him down to my dad's and uh, get him some rest for a little bit. Come on, big guy. Come on. Go. Hey. Go. Hey. Good job, buddy. First one. So for the cows, we're just putting pour on, which will like deworm flies keep pesticides off keep pest off of them so we're not even catching the rest of them in the head gate unless we have to we're just uh stopping them in the alleyway pouring on what they need and then we'll just let them out the side gate and they'll be done so three four five six seven seven going through pretty quick Be free, big man, be free. Ready for the next round? Yep, open the door. All right, we're gonna try to separate the cows because a lot of these calves we're gonna wean. So we're trying to do all the cows first and that way, whenever we get the calves in, we don't have to worry about them getting back in with the cows or anything like that. Like that one, she's huge. Come on. Okay. Hey, 
Hey. 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 One calf, and I'm sure it's a bull. Hey, hey. Hey, this way, mama. It's our 477 cow. She's 11 years old and has given us nine calves. Here's our princess poppy. She was number 11, she lost her ear tag, so I don't have another number 11. So it looks like she's gonna be number 10. All right, girl. Go on out. Got our first one. First bull calf in here, so we'll go ahead and we'll tag him. We'll give him his pour on. Uh, he'll get virus shield and black leg. We'll band him and then we'll let him out into this area. Um, to get everybody weaned. Sorry, buddy. So green tag 49. She should actually be orange tag 33. Last time we worked them, I didn't have the right ear tag for her. I couldn't find it. So now the pain becomes I'm going to have to cut off the, the green one to put on the orange one. Uh, this one is 477's first calf. She's nine years old. Um, she was born in 2015. She's still a great looking cow and one that we just hold on to. Old tag out, nice new number in. Always close the gate when you go through it. Rocky, you shouldn't be in here. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, Rocky. Shoot. Well, couldn't get him back in. Close the gate. Big mistake on my part. I'll have to uh, try to get them after we get all these cows worked. Got all the cows worked. Anything that has an ear tag or calves that have been worked. Um, everything over here, except for that little one. He squeezed in here. And I think there's one or two that we're back over here, otherwise we've got about 20 more head to work. 43 looking for her baby. She's got a newer baby in here. So it's one that will not be weaned. We'll let hers back out after we tag it and work it. Strike two on me today. Left the gate open coming to the pasture and I didn't get the head gate closed on this heifer right here, but we saw this little one left to work. One that's in the chute now. Everybody over there is done. We've got three left. We are the one we've been waiting on all day. Last one, little bull calf. So we'll tag him, we'll band him, and uh, then we'll let him back out to the pasture with his mama. And then we'll wrap things up here, we'll get the ones that were weaning moved, and uh, that'll be a full day. So we've got Rubble in the trailer. I'm sorry, uh, we've got Bolt in the trailer. Rubble's on the pasture. We've got 17 calves. We're gonna wean, actually cutting a couple out to stay. They're just smaller than everybody else. So I'm gonna take four down, and then I'll have uh, on this first load, and then I'll have 13. Four or five on this first load, and then I'll have 12 or 13. The second load, and be able to get them moved and as quick as possible. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it. Hey, hey. Let me close this gate behind us. Come on, boys. No, no. Come on. Hey, right, dude, you ready to go? Yeah. 
got my big helper with me. We're gonna go let Bolt and uh, these four steers that we have loaded up out and come back and get the last load. We're here, buddy. Yeah. That's I mean, my toy. Let him out? Yeah. Okay, stand here behind me. <laughs> Say, come on, boys. How many is that, Owen? Cow. Can you count them? One. How many? Three. No, nope, count again. One, two, three, four. 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 Is he ready to get out? Yeah. All right, stay right here. I'm gonna go let him out. Come on, big guy. Go find those ladies. What do you think, O? Well, two things that are always true about the place where I grew up, where my mom and dad live. One, the trees are so beautiful in the fall, and two, super windy. What's crazy is that we got a heavy downpour. I don't know how much rain. It didn't rain for very long, but we got a lot. My mom and dad, who live just about 20 minutes south of me, didn't hardly get anything, or didn't get anything at all. My mom always jokes about how they're in a no rain zone, and we get all the rain, or my sister lives 10 minutes south of them, get all the rain. She might be right this time. Hey, super easy. Pulled up, backed up, and this guy was over here with one other one, so I just ran him over, and uh, this is the one that we were gonna wean, but when we put him back out with the rest of them, he's just too small, so we're gonna put him back out on his mama. Um, a lot easier to keep steers on their moms longer because you don't have to worry about them getting bred like we do heifers. So that uh, heifer we put back out, she's really right on the verge, but would rather her get a little bit of extra growth on her going into winter and just be safe that way. I'll keep this corral set up for um, until December, and that's probably when a couple months we'll wean her is when we'll get rubble the bull out of here and we'll just kind of do all of that at the same time a few different ways we can do this i could try to cut them in half oh shoot dang wind pause <laughs> stay out of there stay out of there nope 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 all right i'm gonna have to figure out how to keep this thing up the wind is blowing too hard what i was saying is I could uh, do this a couple different ways. I could uh, split them in half, do half, cut the divider gate, and then do the other half, but I'm going to try to push them all on there at one time and uh, see if they'll just go together as long as I can get this door to stay. All right, round two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Definitely easier with my dad here because he stood right between those two gate openings. So I'm just going to run them all into this side, close this gate behind me, and then try to run them up in almost an L to uh, get them in a stock trailer that way. Tell you what, this head gate is absolutely phenomenal. It's an arrow quip. Um, only get to use it a couple times a year, but it is worth every penny when we do. Just being able to let things out the side, the access, so amazing. The only thing I wish I would have done is I wish I would have had that on this end behind me and had the head gate facing the other way. We, we hear you, baby. And that way we could have worked the head gate from the outside and kept like the... Um, uh, the tags and the virus shield and the black leg shots and all that stuff on the outside instead of in the pen. Thought about it now, but it, otherwise it worked really, really well. All right, here's where we get congested. Nope, nope, nope. So for me, for us, for our animals, we really try to let them make the decision. 
I'm not trying to push them, especially since I'm by myself. You can see these ones up front looking right now. Typically once one or two go, the rest are gonna follow. Sometimes we have to do this a few times, but if I push them, some are gonna <clears throat> take off, get behind me, and I'm gonna be playing this game a lot more. There goes one. Nope, nope. Okay, we got one on. Come on. Come on. Now for this number, if I could just get seven on the front, I would cut it down, but I think I'm going to be able to get them all. As long as I can get them in this area right here. And there goes one. Two. I'm letting some go by me now because I've already lost one. Three, four. Come on. Five. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I'll let one more go, but not two. Get, 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 get. Hey, 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 hey. Turn around, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Perfect. Okay, we got six to squeeze on. Come on, boys and girls. Oh, mainly girls. So we got four heifers, two, one steer already, one soon to be steer. Hey, hey, nope, nope, nope. This is try number four, just with these six. Come on. Again, try not to push them. on. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, hey. Hey, come on. Yeah. 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 Gosh darn it. Try number five. Get. Yeah. Nope. Get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. All right, I'm going to need both hands for this. Woo! Got it. Five tries with them. The other thing that they were getting nervous was when they'd get close to the trailer, they'd hear the other calves move. That would move the trailer. It kind of startled them a little bit, but got them all loaded. Going to get them down to my mom and dad's and get them unloaded with the other ones. And uh, that'll be everything moved for the day. So far, so good. All right, back here with the second load, the last load. Man, it is windy here. We get these guys unloaded. Here's uh, some of our current feeders. They still got a couple months on feed. But some of the other ones we just dropped off are up there. Got nice fresh water. And these guys get to go all this area, and then there's a whole nother pasture over here, and they have access to all of it. So, nice big area for them. Plenty of room to spread out, and uh, plenty of hay, plenty of grass still right now. So, hopefully, for a couple weeks, and then we can get them back out in the pasture.
Go ahead. Five, six. All right, they're off and running. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Come on, before it closes. All right, fourteen plus the four, eighteen calves down here to wean. Hey, I found a spot out here where there's not too much wind right now. Just got the stock trailer and hooked for my truck. Getting ready to call today. Want to give a big thanks to my dad and my mom. I know uh, you saw plenty of my dad in the video. Uh, every time anything happens at my house, he's always there helping out. And uh, could not have done any of working the animals without him. Um, him being there physically and his knowledge. Learned something every single time. My mom was uh, in our house watching the four kids. Um, fun day with grandma, they said. Well, Owen calls her Mima, the other three call her grandma. But big thanks to those two. I want to thank all of you for following along today. If you have any questions, um, feel free to send us a message, send us an email. Um, by no means do we do everything exactly how everybody else does uh, we kind of have to set it for what we know our animals and what we have available to us so some things maybe probably look a lot different than other channels you watch but it is the most efficient and is best for our animals very happy with the calf crop we had this year we'll be working my dad's cows here really quick as well he's got a great group of calves as well so really glad with how they turned out if you haven't yet uh, subscribe to our channel please do so and if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up hope everyone stays well there's the win we'll see you back here real soon